In both the examples uh, uh, I've gone through before, uh, we modified all parameters in a loop. Either latch them, all the same value by holding triangle, or kept their absolute distance from each other with, with the O button. However, it's also possible to apply these changes to a subset of steps in a loop. The way to do this is to latch the steps you want to modify by pushing the D-pad to the right when you've selected that step. So for example, if I want to modify the first four, um, I want to modify the first four uh, uh, triggered steps, what I would do is push the D-pad to the right, and, uh, and a latch step uh, changes color from white to blue. So then I can push the analog pad to the right to jump to step 8, and then I can push the digital pad to the right, and then analog pad to the right, digital pad to the right, analog pad, digital pad. So now the first four steps are latched, but um, step 32, 40, 48, 56 are not latched. And you can see that because they're in white as opposed to in blue. Now if I were to hold the triangle button and modify uh, the synthesizer parameter, only the first four steps will be modified, the last four will be unchanged. So if I hold triangle and then push uh, analog pad up or down, triangle, remember, forces all of the, uh, all of the latched uh, steps to be the same value. And you can see how step 0, 8, 16, 24, the freak 1 parameter is always the same. Now, I can also uh, go to another parameter in, in, uh, in the generator list and uh, in the generator parameter list and uh, the latching remains active. So if I go down to say uh, SH0, you can see that you know, they all remain um, remains blue. And if I go to 16 and 8 and 0, they're all still latched. And if I go to 32, it's not latched. So if I modify this value, you can hear how that effect is applied to the first four steps, but not the last four steps. Now this parameter latching actually remains active even if you go all the way back to um, selecting whether or not you modify the generator, the effect of the envelope. So if I go push back in the D-pad to get back to the option to choose generator or envelope, select envelope, you can see that these remain highlighted in blue. So, um, however, if I go back far enough so that way I'm at the uh, track selection screen, uh, all of the latches are all are deleted. Also, if I go back into the BAM generator, uh, excuse me, they're not, they're not deleted at that point. You actually have to go all the way back to the, uh, to the track. Um, you have to go all the way back to um, this part of the menu system in order to remove all of the, uh, all of the uh, latched, uh, latched steps. So now if I go back to the generator, you can see that none of these are latched anymore. They're all in white. The other way to unlatch a step is if you have one latched, you can just push right on the D-pad again and it changes back from, from blue to white. Uh, so uh, there's two other ways to modify all parameters in a track. The first one applies a linear interpolation function um, to, uh, to uh, the start and end points that you select. So um, the way that you do this is um, you navigate with the analog pad left to right to the first step that you want to, um, to uh, interpolate through, and you press uh, select. So let's say, for example, we want uh, a linear ramp and frequency down from 484 down to 200 uh, for the entire loop. So for the first step, you would press select and it changes blue because it's being uh, used for this, uh, for this functionality. Now, what you can do to go to the last step that's triggered is push the analog pad to the left. That's a quick way to get to the last step. And what I can do is modify this value to be 200 by pushing the analog pad up. Remember, don't use the, uh, the triangle button at this point because you don't want to uh, copy this frequency value to every step. You just want to set the last step to the end value. So now we have a start value of 44, end value of 200, and you push select on the last step.
And now you can go through and you can see how the I'm going uh, through the various steps that are that are triggered, and you can see how the frequency value is going down from 44 down to 200. So the other way you can modify parameters is to uh, randomize them. So uh, it works the same way as um, as the interpolation, but instead of pressing the select button, you press the X button. So let's go to uh, Let's randomize all the values again. So let's uh, set the maximum value for the randomization to be, let's say, 510. So I'm gonna push uh, X on that. And again, it turns blue because it's being used for this special feature. And then if I push to the left, I'm going to make the minimum value, uh, say, 100. So I'm gonna push X again. And now you can see that all the frequency values are randomized. And uh, it randomizes even the, the start and end location, so every value is randomized the same way. So uh, one last thing I want to say about interpolation and randomization is that the parameter latching feature I talked about before uh, doesn't apply to interpolation and randomization. It always does this interpolation or randomization across uh, all steps in a loop.